Here we are with the tail of the tape. Farkanong Toyota Rayong taking on Satar Gad Razade from Iran. So Iran versus Thailand in this one. A fairly common tale in the world of Muay Thai. Iran taking on Thailand. As I mentioned before, they, there is a plethora of Iranian fighters here in Thailand at the moment. Huge volume of fighters. So here we are for round one. Farkanong Toyota Rayong taking on Satar. Heavy leg kicks there from Farkanong. But big punches and stabbing knees from Satar. Yeah, the fighters from Iran do seem to have real, really, really good hands, power and speed. So we'll see if that they go put connecting. Nice reply there from and the heavy hand. So that kick again. Just popping that jab out to measure the distance. Ooh, big left hook. Nice counter punch there from Farkanong. There is quite a high difference. And in phase, he's still winning with the punches flying. Just like that, yeah, and then doubling it up. He's going to be looking to be chopping the leg of Puncturing the tire, as they say in Thai. The big wide hooks there from Satar. And it's only a matter of time till Farkanong tries to read it and send the kick upstairs. Satar marches forward. Oh, goes to the leg again. Farkanong does seem to have switched stances. Or unless he is going to be one of those fighters like we saw before that does switch. And he is able to fight in Southpaw as well. I also think it's because Satar has been peppering that front leg sending the leg kicks down. Yeah, and it takes about five or six to really uh, rack up the damage on that front leg. Yeah, you know, you, really I know, need to block those kicks. you know as well as I do, they hurt. Oh, sends the inside a leg kick, follows up with the hands upstairs there from Satar. Yeah, Fagkong has really gone into Southpaw now. He's looking to clinch. I don't think he wants to be on the outside, to be fair, with that leg damage. Great vice grip there inside the clinch there from Satar, digging the head under. Oh, good parry, slaps the hand down, sends the right hand through. Farkanong just using good redirection there a moment ago, slaps the arm around, but a heavy barrage of attacks from Satar. Yeah, Farkanong is looking to be the more technical fighter out of the two with those body kicks, but. Satar is really looking to walk his opponent down and smother him with hands. He's, when he sends those punches, he's sending them. But oh, good redirection. Tries to follow up with the elbow from Farkanong. Satar just using his eyes to find the gap in Farkanong's game here. Very composed, ever dangerous. We'll just be finishing the round, the dying seconds, and there it is, ladies and gentlemen, the end of round one of our main replays in just a second. What did you take away from that round, Eleanor? I think Fakanong, I mean, his leg must have taken some damage to switch into Southpaw, but I am so impressed by the way he's fighting on the back foot and still firing that kick in Southpaw, which obviously isn't his, his main where he wants to be, but I don't know, I think I think um, Star needs to just kind of compose himself a little bit more instead of going in swinging because Fakanong does, he has been coming forward with that left elbow there, he has, he is trying to connect with that left elbow, so I think he just needs to be a little bit more careful I would agree with that I think Satar trying to make a statement early and exploding right out of the gates you know, that can be disheartening for a lot of fighters when you come up against a strong puncher straight out of the gates, you know, it can be hard to compose yourself. But as we know, Thai fighters do tend to start a little bit slower in the first round, warming up in the second. A lot of them fighting in the provinces, five round Muay Thai usually. So it can be hard to adjust to the three round game where you need to come firing out of the gates. As I said before, that's Satardi. Here we are for round two. Kick for kick here in centre ring. 
misses, answers back, follows up with the big hands from Farkhanom as Sitar locks on. Yeah, some two big knees there from Sitar. I didn't know if he was actually going to be looking for that clinch or just the KO punch. And there you go, Farkhanom trying to go for the Logan Chan flying elbow. Farkhanom kick is landed every single time on Sitar's body. He really needs to start blocking those, I think. Sitar just locking on as the referee breaks him apart, walking forward. Nice high hands there from the Iranian. Oh, a solid kick. kick. He's got him in the corner though, he's got nowhere to move. Yeah. I think Fakanong is looking to just stall that clinch there, hold him up. I don't think he wants to be in that clinch. I think he knows that he's winning on the outside with those body kicks. Good display of balance there. And, oh, not a great display of balance there from <laughs> Satara as he was taken to the ground in that last oh. exchange. Those oh. body kicks are so strong. Really feels like Fakanong found his rhythm here. And his range, sending those southpaw kicks down the line. Sitar getting a little bit desperate here. Sitar really needs to block those body kicks, I think, if he wants to kind of survive this fight. Oh, nice big right elbow there from Sitar. Well, it's a good strategy there from Farkhanon to kick up onto the arms against the puncher. He takes the power out of the punches, slapping those kicks right up onto the arm. Not quite kicking on the body, but just right up on that right hand of Sitara. So smart strategy to switch stances and slap the kicks up. As you see here, Sitara starting to get a bit desperate with the timing. Locks on underneath as Farkhanom comfortably sits on that back foot and looks up at the clock. Yeah, we see Tassar just going in with that hook cross combo every time. But Farkhanom is just, he's just so comfortable in the ring reading his opponent well, using the ring, moving around, using that body kick. There's I want to see Sitar really mixing it up, to be honest. There's that kick again. Nice stall inside the clinch, but little pitter patter knees there from Sitar to rack up the point. Sitar forward march. Tries to go for the switch left kick there, but blocked by fucking on. 20 seconds left into round two here for our main event. The Iranian has seen to step there. He goes with that hook punch again. He really likes that combo, but that body kick of Fakhnong, I just don't think he can answer back from it. There it is. Monkey climbs the tree. A great stall there from Fakhnong in the red corner. So much better round for our Thai athlete. As I said, warming up. Really warming up in that second round, showcasing his experience. Sitting on that back foot, slapping the arms of Satar with those heavy southpaw kicks. Let's go and have a look at these replays. Satar utilizing good forward pressure, but the explosive flying knees and flying elbows of Farkhanong earlier in that second round really showcasing his experience here. And it seemed like Satar just started to get a little bit des desperate. Just going back to the old left hook, a right hand. Trying to send it down the line. Here we are coming into the third round of action. What do you foresee here, Eleanor? I think we could see a little bit of desperation from our Iranian athlete. I think he's going to be coming out hand swinging. I think Fakhanong really needs to keep his guard tight and his wits about him in this round and keep firing that body kick. I don't know if he actually is a southpaw because the way he has changed his fight around since he went into southpaw is beyond impressive to be honest. Well I think it's the strategy of slapping the kick up on the arm there trying to take the power out of the right hand because he respected the punch early on. So here we are into the clinch as our referee breaks them apart. Continue the action. But Parkinson just trying to draw him in so he can fire off those kicks again. But Satara doing a good job of shutting down the range of the kicks there, just moving forward with speed. And that's what you want to do with a kicker is you want to shut them down, move in with speed, clinch up, and just exchange knees. 
Yeah, I feel like Tatar really wants to be in the clinch here. He really, 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 that's where he needs to be. Especially as the taller athlete, if he can, oh, he just got not, gets knocked off balance there. He does need to keep his ground in, though. Beautiful turn there from Barkin on the moment ago. It's book Muay Thai. That's the way that we like to see it. Oh, heavy kick again. I just don't understand why Satara isn't learning to block those kicks at this point in round three. Well, he needs to move forward with intense pressure here to shut down the kicks of the oh. Again, we have another janitor on the hands trying to sweep the floor with their opponents. Those sweeps are so... The timing on those to pull that off against such a taller opponent is very impressive. It's like the fighters are trying to take the jobs of the cleaners here at Lumpini Stadium. They're doing a phenomenal job sweeping the floor with their opponents here. A bit of a stall in the action. Oh, and there's that kick again there from Barkanon. Sends it up again. Oh, oh. oh. And he returns with a sweep for himself. Returning the favour from uh, the Iranian, Sitar goes for the lean back, the lead hook, and just waits, sends the right hand down the line, and locks up. Bit of a stall on the action again. Less than a minute to go in this round. I think Fakanong is looking very composed, very relaxed. I think he might know that he has done enough. I don't know about you, Joe, but I think uh, on my unofficial scorecards, I would give it to him. Well, on my unofficial scorecards, I give it around two and three so far, but Satara starting to bring the forward pressure, the fire. Big, wide, leading hooks, but he needs to do something impressive here. And quite immense forward pressure here. You can't get Farkin on the weight and fire off that kick. Ooh, and again, he's coming forward with those hands. He just needs to let it go. I mean, we've got 15 seconds to go now. If it was me, I'd be going for that knockout. He needs to pull out the Hail Mary, that's for sure. <laughs> Dying seconds Ooh. of our main event. And that it is, ladies and gentlemen, just witnessed Absolute electrifying action here at Lumpini Stadium. So we'll go and have a look at the replays in just a second. Make sure you stay tuned for the next fight as well. That was a textbook Muay Thai fight in my opinion as a foreigner v Thai matchup where the foreigners just have to pressure forward with their hands and their ties and their technical ability to pull off those sweeps and those strong body kicks. That was exactly what I was expecting to see to be honest. Farkanong's experience really shining through here against Tatar's aggression. So we'll throw it over to MC Mark Abbott, the man in the middle. Ladies and gentlemen, after the completion of all three rounds in our main event, we go to the judges' scorecards. All three judges scored this bout 30-27. Sam Tibisipjet, Sam Tibisipjet, Le, Sam Tibisipjet. For the winner, in the red corner, Bakalong Toyota!